What's up? John Doe here. Night before the big election on Prop 19. Well, actually, it's the morning. It's 4.10 in the morning. This is how I roll. I like to uh, stay up late. And, uh, I don't know, it's just because I can't sleep, actually. The reason why I can't sleep is because I have insomnia. And what makes my insomnia even worse is the fact that I got raided on my birthday in 2007. And why Prop 19 is so important to me and so many other people is because it sends a message to stop these kind of things, to stop this type of action towards people like myself. You know, it's not just about all the other little nitpicking things in the bill. Those are the small things right now. It really bugs me when I see people talking about the small things and how it's all about those things. When it's really not. It's about the larger picture, and it's about stopping the criminalization of cannabis. The ridiculous, ignorant nature that we throw towards cannabis and the way that we treat it. That's the message that we send in passing initiatives like Prop 19. Now, it may not be the perfect bill, and I'll admit it's not the perfect bill by any means, but we're not at that point where we can pick and choose the perfect bill. Because right now, there's no other state in the entire nation, in the United States, anywhere, that allows for the legal sale that says cannabis can be regulated and be free, well, pretty much as free as an open market regulated and taxed can be. There's no other place like that here in America. Now... If maybe there was another place like that, we'd be at the point where we could be picky and choosy, but we're not. It's just plain and simple timing and understanding where we need to go with this movement and where we need to go with stopping the criminalization of cannabis, as I call it in this little video. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. Didn't speak as well and as clearly as I'd uh, hoped to, but once again, it's at 4 o'clock in the morning. I just uh, was feeling very strongly right now. My anxiety kicks up overnight, and I really think about some of the things that, you know, myself and other people have been through, and it really bugs me. It really does. So, if you vote against 19, or if you're anti-19, because of all the wrong reasons, you're not a friend of mine. And I'm uh, pretty proud to say that. We don't want any Q-tip warriors, Q-tip soldiers on our side, because we don't need you. I don't want you next to me. You hear me? Alright. It's John Doe Radio. Make sure you're checking us out on johndoradio.com. Subscribing to the new RSS feed. You can't find us on that other side anymore. You can only find us at johndoradio.com, and hopefully soon on iTunes. Alright? Alright. Now I'm going to smoke my jelly bean and get back to it here. That's what I'm talking about. Silver Surfer Vaporizer. <laughs> Alright. You guys rock. Thank you very much for being great John Doe Radio listeners and supporters of freedom and the cause to free cannabis. I hate calling them criminals. I hate calling them offenders. Because they're not. If you're a cannabis offender, you didn't do anything wrong. This is JDR. Until we meet again, see ya.